Well, Hassan is sleeping, but it does sound like there's another leopard on its way here because there's alarm calls behind me. And it sounds like she... Ah, they've just found her now. So it sounds like a female leopard around the Mulawati, which is amazing. So it sounds like Tandi, not too far from where we are. So maybe what we'll do is if Hassan is going to sleep, I just want to listen. I wonder if he's coming south. Let me find out quickly on the radio if he's coming south, or she's coming out south, should I say. Uh, Rolf, is that leopard mobile south? Oh, he's not answering me. They're too busy talking on the radio. But there's definitely another leopard just north of us at the moment. So I wonder if it is heading this side. It would be amazing if it did. But look how beautiful that white tummy is. And the Nyal has also come quite close, but Hosanna hasn't seen it yet. He's still so fast asleep on his damn wall that he hasn't actually seen what's going on. But I'm hoping that this leopard, w that one north of us comes here, because it'll be interesting just to see the way he reacts to that. But look at that beautiful sky. It is absolutely beautiful. Now it sounds like that leopard is mobile south. Perfect. So we're going to sit here and wait. She is mobile in this direction. She's still quite a way away. She's about 200 meters north of me. So is coming this side slowly but surely, which is fantastic. So we're just going to be patient and wait. And hopefully this leopard will come this side. Although the guy wants to leave that leopard. So I wouldn't mind getting to it before he does. Because otherwise we're going to lose that one. And I would hope that it will come generally this direction he's saying young female so it can't be tandi wonder if it's not shongile wouldn't that be a sight for sore eyes if little shongile joins up with hosana again well, the last time we saw shongile was with hosana so it sounds promising i'm just keeping an eye out north of me it's still quite far it's close to where we had tumba with those elephants for a while so the mumba junction which they've got across a little drainage before they come down to twin dams but given the heat that we've had today i would imagine that this leopard will come to this area just for a drink of water much like what hosana has done so this leopard will head in this general vicinity as well but come on hosana wake up He's still fast asleep though, he's not interested in anything and I'm surprised because the alarm calls of that other, of those Nyala and the various other individual animals that we were alarm calling, that he didn't even lift his head and it's not far from us, like I say, it's, it's close enough that he should have heard it and should have woken up and you can see a car has just come past us and he has not woken up at all. Interesting. Still fast asleep though. But it's good news there's another car that's going to join that female so i'm just going to listen and if they st if they start veering off from coming towards twin dams we'll go to her but either way we will see this other leopard i mean how is this this is just ridiculous to have another leopard three leopards in a drive so two here in the sabi sands and one in the mara it's just absolutely phenomenal and the fact that we will have seen a third leopard for the day is really quite special so we're just being absolutely spoiled and like i say sitting where we are right now with this sky that we've got look at these beautiful oranges that's my view right now on my left is a leopard on my right is that sunset over twin dams there's a Nyala bull alarm calls and then to the north of me which is in that direction there is also another leopard approaching so how is that for a special way to spend a day there you can see the Nyala bull just sitting at the edge of the water you can see his reflection it's actually easier to see his reflection than it is to see him on that pink pink water beautiful isn't it my boy you're going to have a tough time you're about to get sandwiched between two leopards which is not a place you would want to be See how aware it is as it comes down to drink. It's interesting how slowly it walks. It doesn't want to make too much noise. It also wants to check and make sure. And it hasn't seen Hosanna because Hosanna's head is down. He's flat. Difficult to see him in this light. It's that twilight time. And so not easy at all. So that Nyala is trying to slowly make its way to the water. And just make sure that there isn't something lurking. It would have heard the Impala's alarm calling earlier. There it comes. But it is a big Nyala bull. So a female leopard and even Hosanna that's a, probably a bit much for them to take on somebody like uh, Tingana could tackle a Nyala bull like this but it would be a really big kill for somebody like Hosanna look at that reflection in the pink as well so 
So, sorry, Megan, if you can just repeat that, you it was Game Drive Radio and yourself. I just heard Angeline. Ah, Angeline, you say how much you love the reflection. It is beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. That's, especially the hairiness of Anyala as it walks along. That is just so wonderful. And all the hatches of the insects. You can see little mayflies and various other aquatic insects hatching off and causing those little ripples. And then the beard of the Nyala and the horns. What a wonderful picture that is. And then the pink of that sunset. Absolutely beautiful. Spoilt is what we are. Africa at its absolute worst this afternoon. No, I'm just kidding. It's, I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous how beautiful that situation is in this scenario. You can see a night jar drinking as well in the water at the bottom of the screen. There's a couple bats that are also flying around. You might see them zipping through the lightness of the sky. There they go. There went one. Just quickly going past. So we've got bats, we've got nyala, we've got leopards, we've got night jars, we've got a beautiful sunset, and just, well, what an absolute treat this is. And we've been seriously, seriously, seriously spoiled today. I know I say it a lot, but it's true. It's hard not to feel really kind of in awe of moments like this when we get to spend time with animals in the way that we have and, and so sit here now with Hosanna completely on our own. That sunset is just what a wonderful way to spend a day. It doesn't feel like work when we sit and do things like this, that's for sure. And it really is the best, best way to to spend a day and as Megan says what a time to be alive yes Megan you are incredibly correct it is an amazing time to be alive I'm just keeping an eye over my shoulder I'm waiting for the lights of that other vehicle to start coming and it's gonna be a while still I think probably about 10 minutes until it gets here which is gonna cut it quite fine so in the next five minutes if I don't see lights coming my way then I'm gonna go try and catch up with that leopard so we can get a last minute look at whoever it is I still haven't got an ID over the radio as to which leopard it is but it's going to be touch and go. It's, it's a route Tundi walks a lot, but I'm just somehow hoping that it is Shongile. So we'll have to just wait and see and hope that it is little Shongalolo that is making her way this side to join her brother, who is at the stage a carpet. So I think what I'm going to do is probably leave Hosana where he is right now. I'm going to probably start heading towards that female and then follow her this direction and while I do that I believe Jamie is still in the Mara still with her serval which is just ridiculous and I hope she's having a wonderful time on that side of the world. 